Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Gotham from Cenobites, and I'm Terry. Um, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, and then I've been seeing everybody else is doing something similar. So I thought I would play around with the app I use, and I found something I'm pretty happy with. So today's video, I'm going to be looking um, with you and all the stuff I have um, on pre-order. I'm gonna go through all of it. We're gonna go through all the figures I have, one six scale. We're gonna go through all the statues I have on pre-order. And then we'll probably end it um, with a few that I either plan to buy when they become available or I'm actively looking for. And then I'll meet you back right here to wrap up. So I'm gonna get into the intro and then we're gonna get right in to figures first. I'll see you soon. Alright, kicking off, we're going to start with the Nightmare Batman and Black Suit Superman 2-pack by Hot Toys. And as everybody in the figure world knows, Hot Toys, I mean, they're the master with the detailing of the face sculpts and the clothing. Um, I missed out on this Nightmare Batman the first time because it took me a while to come around, but now Ben Affleck is my favorite. So um, I was very happy to see they all have the same bases as their other figures and uh this black suit superman i intend to display with my regular justice league and i will have a nightmare scene on the shelf below and that's where the regular blue and red superman will be displayed probably with these eyes on the on the blue suit but um so yeah that is hot toys uh nightmare batman and superman two pack i am getting through sideshow and uh, on to the next all right, and sticking with the Snyder Cut, this one is definitely my most anticipated figure this year, and this is the Snyder Cut Cyborg. And as you can see, they he will have the same base as the rest of the line. Pretty happy with that, and I'm just so happy that this figure is finally being produced. And look at the face sculpt. I mean, they definitely went back and redid everything. They didn't just try to give us the crappy prototype it's definitely been been redone with a lot of love and there you see him flying with the flash and i just i cannot wait for this figure to complete my justice league lineup and there you have it it is the cyborg and i am getting the special edition with the extra head that i probably will never display so that is coming at the very end of this year if not the beginning of next year hot toys cyborg Alrighty, and we're getting into my last two Justice League pieces. This is the 1 6 scale Jazz Ink Dioramas Bat Signal. And there was, when I saw this, it was not available. Um, they actually went out and got the license for it. And as soon as it was put back up for pre order, I was able to snag it. Um, it is slated in the next couple months to April. So I'm looking forward to displaying this underneath my. Justice League 1 6 line, and that's Jazz Ink Dioramas 1 6 the Bat Signal. And getting in to my latest pickup, the Toys Battalion third party figure Mars Guardian or Martian Manhunter. Um, I will probably use the extra Superman base I have and uh, find a way to put his name on it and display him museum style with my Justice League on the top shelf. It just, it looks incredible for a third party figure and I can't wait to get it in hand to review for you guys. And uh, let's get into my last figure coming up. Alright, and last up is Premier Tours, um, the Warlord, third party company. This is, as everyone knows, Immortan Joe from Mad Max The Fury Road. 
And I told the wife that um, if anybody ever does this figure, whether it's licensed or not, this is probably one of the ones I'm going to go out and purchase before I secure your permission. I love the movie. I love the character. This is a movie that her and I saw twice together in theaters. And when my dad came to town, um, we drug him out and made him watch this movie in theaters. It's just a... I grew up watching um, Thunderdome with my dad, so I knew that... Uh, I had to show him this movie. And this is Premier Toys, The Warlord, and our Marathon Joe. And I don't remember when this is slated to come, but um, I do believe it's 2022. And that's it for figures. Uh, let's get into statues. Alright, first up we have The Drowned by Prime One. My most anticipated piece this year for sure and it's just an incredibly detailed statue she is definitely the first one that caught my attention with this line before i even knew about the metal comics at all and there we have it um it's 89 centimeters just about and it's about roughly 35 inches she's definitely taller than batman who laughs and these are just an incredible head sculpts and i definitely I did get the deluxe, and the deluxe head is what I plan to have out. Just an incredibly detailed base on this statue. They they always knock their bases out of the park, but I love the water and the octopus going on. And there you have it. Batman the Drowned by Prime One. Most anticipated piece of this year and probably last year. Alright, next up is the Grim Knight. And these are going in order of... Uh, my pre-orders. The Drown was first, he was second, and uh, most of the pictures you can find nowadays are like this one. Um, they don't show off any of the guns. So these are the ones I found on Prime 1. I was able to find the next few pictures on Google. So here he is with all the guns before they PG'd him to, to death. <clears throat> Just an incredible arsenal he's got. And of course, you got the COVID mask. <laughs> Here's a shot of all the guns that they do have on Prime 1, just not on him. And you'd be surprised how little pictures there are of the base on Prime 1. So here's the best picture I could find on the internet of uh, the base. And head sculpts. I did get the deluxe, and I do displan, displan, plan on displaying the black mask, at first at least. And there you have it. Uh, the Grim Knight design Jason Fabok definitely really anticipating this statue this year all right next we have the red death and this one I pre-ordered the same exact time I did the next statue the red death he's an incredible statue and I don't think that anybody is ever just like Batman who laughs going to be able to do a better version of this character it's um in my opinion, I mean, it's definitely a dark horse, and I think it's um, definitely going to be one people collect, even that do not collect this line, just because of how like, amazing it looks with the skulls, and the car parts, and the base, and the bats, and just the evil-looking version of the Flash. It definitely um, is an incredible statue. Next up, we got the base. Like I said, we got skulls, bats. It's it's one of the best looking bases in this uh, metal line. I mean, the skulls look so good. Like the XM piece to me doesn't hold a candle to this one at all. And you see in the back of the base, we got the car parts. If you know the story, the Batmobile is definitely involved in the merger of uh, Bruce and Barry in this universe and it just it's it's almost a shame this is all on the back of the base it looks it looks really phenomenal and there you have it uh, Batman the Red Death slated for this year but we uh we will see and uh, there it is all right got the Dawnbreaker is up next and I ordered him exact same time within the same two minutes as the Red Death and the good thing I like about this statue and the Red Death and the Drowned is they offer you know a color pop 
to an otherwise pretty dark, ominous uh, statue line. Whereas uh, the Green or the Grim Knight and Batman Who Laughed are pretty dark characters, these um, give it some color. And uh, it's just just like the Red Death. It's a shame. It's such a fantastic detail. It's going to be lost to the back of this statue. And it's one of the uh, the standout bases of this line. It's just incredible, and I cannot wait to see it in person. And, uh, and there you have it. The Dawnbreaker, Dark Knight's Metal, by Prime One Studios. Let's move on to Iron Studios. Alright, these last two statues are from Iron Studios. And they're the one-tenth scale. First up is Darkseid. And I plan on displaying these two guys with my one six scale figures. Um, I don't think they're going to be made into figures by Hot Toys. So I think these two small scale statues are pretty good alternatives. And as we see, he's stepping on Steppenwolf's head. I mean, I mean they're, they're about 12 inches. I mean, I think it'll look pretty good with the one six scale figures. Um, they're pretty incredible detail for one-tenth, or, yeah, one-tenth, and here we have Steppenwolf, and I don't currently have him on pre-order, but I'm going to buy him and pay it off in full within the next month and a half <coughs> on Spec Fiction, but, uh, yeah, I think these two are going to look very, very good together, and they'll look very good, I think, next to my one-six skill Justice League. Zack Snyder cut, Steppenwolf and Darkseid. And uh, so that is it for the statues. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll wrap it up here. Alright, so before we get to wrapping it up, just wanted to talk about two pieces. One's a statue, and one's a figure. And this is, I'm going to start with the statue. This is Prime One's Death Metal Batman from the Death Metal comics. And I made it through that whole show thinking there's nothing good, there's nothing else I want. And then they brought this guy out towards the end, and it's shit. There's no way I can pass on this one. The Superman, not so much, but this one, it just looks incredible. I cannot pass on this character, Prime One. Just let me know where and when, and you have my money. I mean, just, just look at me. The Robin is pretty close to identical to the Batman Who Laughs base. I mean, it just looks... It looks incredible. And I guess it's going to come with one... At least one bust in. So... Yep. This one's a future preview for sure. And now we have a six-scale figure I want. And I went to look for it the other day. And it's, it's completely sold out everywhere I can find it. And this is the Doomsday Lightning Man. Third-party figure. And it's going to be going with my nightmare scene. I'm going to have I have plans for. So, I mean, aftermarket, I guess. Because I have to have it. Um, it's more expensive than the others. But um, it's, it's metal. So, I mean, I think that's probably a big reason. Just all the die cast on it. But if you're watching this, please ship me a link if you know where to get it. Um, I would love to be able to say this is in my collection. So that's it, so now we will move on to final thoughts. Thank you. Alright everybody, and that's my list of pre-orders and wish list. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the ride. Uh, definitely looking forward the most to those Prime 1 statues. Um, I, I've tried to look on Prime 1 to figure out when exactly the drown went up for pre-order, but I mean, I want to say it's been close to two years. Um, so I know it's not the longest, but it's the longest, it's coming up on the longest for me. And uh, the statue, I've been, dare I say to say, but I've been looking more forward, forward to her than even the Batman who laughs in the line, so. Prime One, if you're watching, please get her released this year. I already have a feeling the Grim Knight's going to be before her, which is cool because I can't wait to see that in person as well. 
So thanks for coming with me on this brief little journey of my list of pre-orders and things I want to pre-order. And if anybody could help me out on that lightning, Doomsday Lightning Man figure, help me out. Because, I mean, like I said, everywhere I've seen it, um, it's sold out. So I may have to result to eBay or the aftermarket on that one. But uh, it's my fault for procrastinating. So thank you all. I hope you're having a great weekend. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.